All right, next up. A six-woman tag match. Of course, there's not a women's championship match. Uh, championship yet in AEW, but we this could these this match and another match on this card could very well be unofficial contender matches for this championship. As you have the legendary Aja Kong, Yuka Sasaki, and Emi Sakura against Hikaru Shida, Riho, and Ryo Mizuami. Again, if I butchered any butchered any of those, I apologize. But there's a six woman tag, of course, and you have your Joshi thing for the for the match. Makes sense. A lot of these women have a lot of potential for sure, especially people like Shida, uh, Sakura, and of course Aja Kong is a fucking legend. If you haven't seen her here, you'll be in for a tree on this on this show for sure. Um, I will pick uh, Aja's team just because it has Aja Kong on it, and obviously the most experienced woman on this. Card a former All Japan Women's World Champion, you know, you can't get better than that, quite frankly. Next up, a I believe the only title match on this card, surprisingly, as the Young Bucks, Matt and Nick Jackson defend the AAA World Tag Team Titles against the Lucha Brothers. Penta L Zero M, aka Pentagon Junior, Pentagon Dark, however you know him, and Phoenix. Um, and ironically, these two actually are brothers, believe it or not. Uh, Phoenix and uh, Penta L Zero Miedo are actually brothers, believe it or not, which is kind of crazy. Um, I thought it was just a gimmick, but they're actually related, which is kind of scary <laughs> if you know these guys. Um, of course, the Young Bucks won the t uh, tag titles from AAA in Mexico um, a little while ago. Uh, actually, a couple, I think maybe a couple months ago, actually. <clears throat> Excuse me. But, uh, this will be a great match. I really don't know who would win this. I really don't. I'm actually excited for or a lot of these matches on the card, especially this one. Um, but I would pick the Young Bucks to retain because it would make sense for them to retain at least once. I would not be surprised if the Lucha Brothers win, especially with people that are kind of dangerous like Pena El Zero Miedo, Pentagon Dark, Pentagon Jr., however you know him again. And Phoenix is a wild card for sure. But I will pick the Young Bucks just because it's their fucking promotion and, you know, they're going to book themselves to win every once in a while. That's just how it is. Next up... Cody versus Dustin. The Road Brothers finally fight in an actual match that will actually mean something. And no, this is not Stardust and Gold Dust. This is the natural Dustin Rhodes against Cody Rhodes. A match that people have wanted for years. And a match that should not have been in WWE. And should have, should have not had Dusty involved in it at all. I mean, you could have put Dusty in there, but, you know, you, you have this shit where the last thing Cody ever says to his father on screen is, you're dead to me. And then, sure enough, you know, a few months later, he unfortunately passes away. So, this will actually be a tribute match to Dusty. And, honestly, with Cody saying this is a way to kill the Attitude Era... I honestly agree with that personally. Um, even though we just had a certain title, what was it? Something about being all day, every day, something like that. I'm not going to say it just because it's a stupid name, but in hindsight, it's a good. It's it's a good. Uh, it has potential. I will say that. But um, again. Cody versus Dustin, a match that I'm looking forward to personally. But I will say Cody picks up the win. Dustin passes the torch and he goes in a backstage role. Who knows? Especially since it's his first match outside of WWE. I wouldn't be surprised if he has matches all over the country. To where that way he goes away for a little while and then he comes back and then you can make it happen again. You don't have to make it a five month feud. You can just have the match... Like you're having it now, and then 
Co- Dustin goes and does whatever and then comes back and then you have it at, at another big pay-per-view. You know, that's how I do it. Next up, a triple threat match. Britt Baker, Dr. Britt Baker, Nyla Rose, and Kylie Ray. Um, this will be a little controversial on my end because Nyla Rose is not an actual woman. People are kind of confused by that when I say that. She's a transgender woman, which there's nothing wrong with that at all. I just personally would like a woman's division to be an actual woman's division and not have a transgender person in there. Not that they can't compete. I'm not saying they can. I am just saying, personally, with a woman's division, it just should be a naturally a woman's division, and that makes sense. There's nothing wrong with that, and hopefully she can prove me wrong. I hope she proves me wrong. I honestly do. It's just, the whole thing is awkward, and I don't want to be awkward during this whole thing. So that eliminates her from the match right away, in my opinion. Not that she can't be a great star, it's just, it's just awkward to people that realize what's going on there. So I will pick Britt Baker to win the match. Just, just going to stop talking about it and just move on. Because it's just really weird. Next up, Kenny Omega versus Chris Jericho. A match people have wanted for a long time. A people think that we did see a little for a little while in uh, New Japan for the United, for the Intercontinental title or the United States title, one of the two. I don't remember. But this will be a great match. Again, I'm looking forward to a lot of this card personally. This is probably the one I'm looking forward to the most. Um, but I will pick Omega just because, again, it's their company. They're going to book one of them to win. You just have to go with it. And just hope one of them sticks. Next up, SoCal Uncensored. Uh, Christopher Daniels, Frankie Kazarian, and Scorpio Sky versus the Stronghearts. Seema, T-Hawk, and L. Lindemann in a six-man tag. I will pick SCU just because they, they're the more experienced team. It just makes more sense. And finally, a match that we will not have due to... Uh, Pack, formerly known as Neville, being the Dragon Gate World Champion and just taking it fucking seriously like it's a fucking shoot. So we'll not have Adam Page versus Pack, but Adam Page, like I said, could very well be one of the five mystery men in the Battle Royal, in my opinion, and I feel that could happen. And he, if that is the case, he could win the Battle Royal and they get him in there that way. However, if he has an opponent, we will update you on that situation when we have word on that situation. However, this is a wonderful card, a great card, a first great pay-per-view card. And we even do have some of the other pay-per-view dates. There's one in June and one in July, uh, both in Florida. That makes sense, of course, with Tony Khan and in the, in the fucking Jags being there. But with that being said, a great night of wrestling. Excuse me. A great night of wrestling. A great night for AEW. I hope it goes well to where we have more of these talks in the near future.